In this video, we look at Salesforce record types and profiles. This is again applicable for Salesforce administrators. Record types are, are used when we have different representations for an object. So for example, the account object can be used as a household. It can be used as non-profit organization. It could be used for a government body. It could also be used for small businesses, for large businesses. The kind of fields we want to display for different type of the accounts in this case are different. The look and feel that we want to show, uh, let's say the information we want to capture for household may be very different than the information that needs to be captured for a government body. So in such a scenario, we can use different record types for account to, to, to capture different business scenarios that the account represents. This is implemented through record types. Salesforce has some pre-existing record types defined. We can add our own record types. These are available for both standard objects and custom objects. So for example, in the case of opportunity, we have five pre-existing record types like membership, grant, donation, etc. Another important concept is profiles. So, uh, for example, let's consider that a Salesforce system is used by different teams. There is a sales team that uses Salesforce in a certain way. There is a data entry team that, that needs to use Salesforce in a different way and project managers may need to use Salesforce in an entirely different way. So what we want to show is that we want to make sure that let's say when the, the different teams are looking at the household object, the household object is shown in different ways. We show different facets of the household depending upon which profile is looking at it. Salesforce comes with some pre-existing profiles and we can create new ones as needed. Each user is mapped to a unique profile. So for example, I may be mapped to a sales team profile and the screens that I will see will be based upon this particular profile. The way the system gets impacted by our profile and record types is that we can specify as system administrators that a given profile has this page layout for certain record type. For example, we can say that when the sales team looks at a household or a non-profit organization, what specific page layout should get used? We define this mapping and then when the Salesforce logs in, the appropriate page layout is shown to the user. Let's look at a quick demo for this. So this is something that we can access through this setup link at the top. Then we go to the left hand side menu bar as usual. And let's go to opportunities for customize within customize. Let's first look at record types. As we can see, these are the five pre-existing record types. Let's create one more page layout for opportunity. Okay, opportunity does have two pre-existing page layouts which are predefined in the nonprofit startup pack. But let's just create one more. And let's uh, let's clone this one from an existing page layout. Let's say the donation page layout. So the fields and the sections of the donation page layout will get copied to this newly created test page layout. And as we had seen earlier, we can change this particular page layout 
maybe we want to move this field over here and maybe we want to uh, remove these field to we don't need to show this field we want to create a new section so uh, we can make any number of changes based upon our need just i made some dummy changes and now we have our page layout ready let's save this now we look at how the page layout record type and profiles all work together okay so we are still on the page layout section of opportunities we can uh, we'll we'll do the mapping of the opportunity record types and profiles by clicking on this button page layout assignment this is also available on the record type section on this page also the same button is available let's just click on this so this shows the default the page layout assignment so these are the on the left are all the profiles that the system has these are all predefined profiles i haven't made any changes to them and on the top are the the record types that are available we can click on the next one so all in all the profiles for all the record types we have the same page layout being used the donation layout if uh, exception is that when the record type is membership then the membership layout is being used so in in real situations what we can do is let's say for a marketing user we want to show a different page layout for membership then we can do that assignment so just as an example uh, let's try to we we want to select the test page layout and we want to assign this to contract manager for matching donation i can just drag and drop so all these three profiles for matching donation record type will be assigned the test page layout when i click on the save button the default was donation page layout for I can choose specific profiles, I can choose the page layout and then I can select the record types and then click on the save button to assign these page layouts. So as we can see on the matching donation for these three profiles now, a different page layout will be used. So when a user with the contract manager look in, uh, contract manager profile will log in, he will see a different representation of the opportunity. So this is a very powerful concept. Without writing any code, based upon the user's profile, based upon what is the type of the uh, rec type of the record type he is using, whether it is a gift, it's a membership. He can see different things on the screen.